Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to add a domain controller to an existing forest. So I have Windows Server 2019 installed on this server. And I have an existing domain controller which is running on Server 2012. So the domain controller role has been installed. Now, my next step is I'm going to promote promote this to a domain controller. I'm going to right click, I mean click on the notification and click on promote this service to domain controller. The second option here is to add a new domain controller to an existing forest. It's going to be a child domain. The parent domain, it's going to be Carson Cloud dot local enter the account the credentials that needs to contact the uh, existing domain controller or existing forest Here it is. The new domain is DC1. And the account, this is the correct account. I want to click next. The site name is going to default for site. I'm going to give it a password. So before I click next, I just want to show you guys. So this is the existing domain controller. Administrator. Domain and trust. There, here's the uh, forest. And a domain controller. If I go to Active Directory and Users and Groups. As you can see, there's one. All right, let's go back to the server here. Now I click. I need to click next. Create DNS delegations. That's fine. The NetBIOS name is going to be DC1. Next, that looks good there. I'm going to take a default folder, click next, and next, next again. Everything looks good here, successfully checked. It's just a warning, I don't have to worry about these. I'm going to click on install. All right, now it wants a reboot. I'm going to reboot. All right, here it is. Let me log in.
All right, look like it's load up. Now let's launch the um, users and groups. I just launch it. All right, here is the child domain. And if I want to switch to the primary, the uh, parent domain, just click on right click and go to change domain. And now it's taking me to the parent domain. And if I want to change it back, right click again on the domain, change domain and browse to your child domain. Click OK. There it is. That's it, folks. That's how you attach a child domain to a parent domain in the same force. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.